who is King Tut? You know, a lot of people that think of Egypt or anyone that thinks of Egypt, it's always King Tut. It's either King Tut or it's Ramses. And Ramses we will get into another video, but King Tut, who who was he? So King so King Tut's name was Tutankhamun. So he was Pharaoh Tutankhamun. And he was known as the boy king. And he took over at a young age because his father Akhenaten had passed away. Akhenaten ruled uh, ruled ended at 13 at 1332 BCE. And what makes King Tut such a um, prominent figure in comedic spirit in in Egyptian history was that his tomb has to this date only been there's only been his tomb that has still stayed intact since he was originally originally mummified over 3000 years ago all the gold and all the riches that were originally there when he was mummified is was still there and it was excavated in 1922 by Howard Carter he was the one that discovered uh, King King Tut's tomb now, King Tut, uh, he, in history, he did not have a, a long rule, but he was able to restore a lot of the damage that his father had enacted onto the kingdom of Kemet. So his father, Akhenaten, was, uh, was the first person in history to come up with Ma monotheistic polytheism which means that he only believed that there was only one god and that was Aten and Akhenaten actually actually tried and actually disbanded all of the 88 uh 88 netters from upper and lower Kemet and he said that all these netters are fake we will only worship Aten. And we have to keep in mind that the 88 netters, this this was a well-established religion. Hekka was 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 well established, and Akhenaten tried to uh, and he actually accomplished, he closed down all of the netters um altars and 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 holy grounds and things like that and the people of Kemet did not and did not like that and the crazy thing was that uh Tutankhamun's name or King Tut's original name was Tutankhamun and it was because Akhenaten had named his son after him but after Akhenaten was uh died after he died and King Tut became Pharaoh and keep in mind there was a buffer zone between Akhenaten and King Tut becoming Pharaoh the reason was because King Tut was way too young to become Pharaoh at the time there was two advisors that that took over briefly between Akhenaten and King Tut and the crazy thing is that Egypt hated Akhenaten so much that they tried to eliminate him from the history books. They, 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 they literally took his name off of the Pharaoh's list, all of the statues, everything that I, that Akhenaten had created. They were just done. They did not want anything to do with him. So when King Tut took over, firstly he changed his name from Tutankhamun to Tutankhamun, which is which is a remnant to Amun and and understanding that he is his own he is he was his own pharaoh he didn't he did not want to live in the shadow of his father and as well as uh Tutankhamun or King Tut he had a lot of health um problems reason for it is because thousands of years ago and even in not modern history but in history you know a couple hundred years ago it was uh the pharaohs the kings 
wanted to keep their genetics within their same family so there was a lot of incest that went that happened and Akhenaten slept with his sister at the time which this isn't completely confirmed but it was Nefertiti and out of Akhenaten and Nefertiti we have Tutankhamun and the thing is uh, uh, he he had he had he had a host of medical problems. He had female hips. He had he had female breasts. Um, it was it was supposedly said that he had ADHD. He uh, he walked with a cane. Uh, he had a cliff, and he was just a very sickly person. And he had a very weak immune system. And there and and there's also images of him shooting archery but since he was so disabled the only images of him shooting archery was uh sitting was sitting down because he was unable to do it without going through pain while standing up and as well as his death mask or his or or, or his sarcophagus is so well known because it was so Detailed, it is it, it it is considered one of the most beautiful um, um, death masks ever found in history. And what the death mask is is the actual mask that is put over the pharaoh's head when he uh, when when he is mummified. And the crazy thing about King Tut was that after he passed, uh, after he passed away, he died at the young age of 19. Like I said, he was very sick. He had a very weak immune system. That he died. That um, that the pharaoh after him named Ak uh, took over, which was an advisor to to King Tut. But he did not. He did not want anything to do with King Tut's lineage that he actually tried to destroy King Tut and Akhenaten from history themselves just did not want anything to do with that he did not want anything to do with that lineage and that's just to show that this is this is his kingdom Kimmy was his but what ended up happening is the opposite is that we we end up knowing King Tut more than we know the Pharaoh after him or Pharaoh Ak. And as well as there's this thing called King Tut's curse. Now King Tut's curse is after Howard Carter discovered uh, King Tut's tomb, a lot of people around him that was there at the excavate at the estiv excavation they they died in mysterious ways and a lot of people consider it the curse of King Tut and just unraveling all of that you know all of that heck I mysticism and rituals that were all set in that in that one tomb so King Tut was was a pharaoh of Kemet and did great things for Kemet in the short time that he had but he is mostly remembered for having his tomb untouched for thousands of years so that is all for this video I hope y'all enjoy please stay tuned for more content Hatep